Hello and welcome to Sickle But Not Broken channel. Um, my name is Simba and the reason for this channel is to bring awareness for sickle cell. Um, I've been using the phrase sickle but not broken and trying to work on this outlet for a very, very long time. Um, I recently lost my godmother to sickle cell um, and she was like one of my biggest supporters. So everything came into place and into time, um, you know, at the right time. But, you know, may her soul rest in peace. Um, she has a, a, a great nonprofit organization called Full of Hopes that I'm going to talk about a lot. Um, and I hope that you guys would, you know, become members, volunteers, donate, you know, whatever the case is um, to this organization. Um, so the reason... Um, but my passion for sickle cell is my family. You know, my family watching, you know, other children growing and people not really understanding what the disease is um, and really, you know, getting into it. Yes, we have, you know, great things going on in the sickle cell community as far as research and creating awareness. Um, but I feel like people still don't know, you know, a lot about it and what's going on. So I'm here to use this outlet um, to create an awareness, you know, for sickle cell and to also help patients get through, you know, whatever it is um, that might be going on. You know, um, I myself have sickle cell disease. You know, I was born and raised in Nigeria. I came to this country when I was 12. And I'm very grateful to God to give me and my, you know, family the opportunity to come to this country and be able to have access to, you know, the good health care that we have. You know, um, people from other countries suffer from this disease. And as I said, it's not really understood too much in the community. It's not a disease that, you know, takes pressing charge. Um, you know, it's it's something that they're really still trying to understand. Um, so I'm very grateful to God, you know, to get me to this point um, and to good, put good people in my life uh, where I am able to speak out about this and, you know, be a blessing to other people um, and help other people. So I wanted to use this first post to really talk about what sickle cell is and, you know, what we're really trying to do um in the sickle but not broken you know movement we're trying to create awareness we're trying to give resources we're trying to do um everything that we can um so on this youtube channel uh we're going to discuss different topics um the followers and the viewers also have a choice to um send in your suggestions or questions or you know things that you want to talk about or um you know if you want us to you know, bring you on to the channel to discuss, you know, something that's pressing to you. Um, you know, I want to use this outlet to talk to patients, families, providers, um, to discuss pressing issues in the sickle cell community. And I want to use it to provide information that can, you know, help patients get through whatever it is, you know, that they might be going on or, you know, they're going through a particular situation and, you know, they're not aware of the resources out there that can help them. You know, we want to be able to bring that to them um, to help them. Um, we want to be able to provide real stories to make you comfortable um, about your disease, you know, to help you um, discuss it and to help you grow, um, to show others that you're sickle, but you're never going to be broken. Um, you know, you're not going to let this disease make or break you. You're going to live your life because as I tell people, um, situation could be worse. So always be grateful for what it is that God has done for you. Um, and um, we're going to look at, you know, all sides, all perspective, and we're going to all share how we're affected by sickle cell um, and how we get through situations with this lifelong disease. Um, so, as I said, I want to use this outlet to, you know, create awareness for sickle cell. So before I can do that, I need to tell you a little bit more about the disease. Um, excuse me, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm drinking water. I'm a little dehydrated and, you know, I'm not endorsed by anybody but God. So I just drink my water out of my water bottle. Um, but let's talk a little bit about um, what sickle cell is. 
Um, so sickle cell is classified as a blood disorder where your red blood cells are shaped like a crescent and become hard, sticky, and inflexible to pass through your vein and arteries. Those vein and arteries carry um, blood. So the sickle red blood cell lives 10 to 20 days while normal red blood cells live 120 days. The clog in the vein and arteries are what causes the symptoms and health problems sickle cell disease. Um, sickle cell disease is hereditary. Um, it's passed from parent to children. You can't catch it. I still have people asking me, is it a sexually transmitted disease? No, it's not. And we're also going to talk more about why you should get tested, the importance of getting tested for sickle cell. It's not a sexually transmitted disease. It's passed down from your parents. Um, and the disease is big now because a lot of people didn't know about it, you know, back in the days to get tested, you know, check and see if you have to trade and all that stuff, which we'll get into it a little bit more. Um, so we're going to talk about um, the type of sickle cell disease that's out there. Um, the sickle cell anemia, which is the SS, which is what um, I have. Um, sickle cell hemoglobin is SC. And then they have the sickle beta plus thalassemia, the sickle beta zero thalassemia. So all this different type of sickle cell disease all cause um, similar health problems. Um, similar doesn't mean that we are exactly the same. It just means that we have similar symptoms. Um, so the disease is most common in um, African Americans, Native Americans, um, Arabs, Turks, Greeks, Italians, Iranians, um, uh, Asiatic Indians, South Americans, Mediterranean descent. Um, so the stats in sickle cell in America shows that one in 400 African American in the U.S. has the disease. Then it says one in 10 African American in the U.S. has the sickle cell trait, which we'll talk a little bit more about the trait versus the disease. Um, approximately 89,000 people in the United States have the disease. Now, I don't know if this number has grown, you know, since it was less updated on the website, but, you know, it's a possibility. So, the most common symptoms of sickle cell um, are infection, anemia, acute chest syndrome, um, organ damage, leg ulcer, um, Praprism, stroke, jaundice, delayed growth, uh, shortness of breath, being very tired, uh, feeling dizzy, pale skin, eye problems, heart disease, um, kidney and liver complication, mental health, and joints complication, and pain crisis, which can be brought on by illness, stress, dehydration, temperature change, and high altitude. So, the most common sickle cell treatments are common health maintenance um, to help prevent your complication, uh, such as eating healthy, staying active, take breaks, stay hydrated, watch out for infections, um, don't smoke, don't drink alcohol, or don't do drugs. Um, it says frequent screening and evaluation, hydroxyurea, pain medication, hospitalization, uh, which includes transfusion, phlebotomy, um, iron chelation, phoresis, IV fluids for dehydration, oxygen, and in some cases, the bone marrow transplant. Um, all of the stuff that I just went over, I don't want to sit here and just like break it down to you. I want the story to be told in real time. You know, I know a lot of people that suffer from the different symptoms, you know, that struggle with you know, the treatments and all the different stuff. So I want to use this outlet for them to come up here and be able to tell you their stories. You know, I'm going to be able to sit up here and tell you my story. So I'm also going to give other patients opportunity to come and tell their stories. So I don't want to just sit here and teach you by, you know, reading a bunch of stuff to you. I want to really show you how people really are affected and how as a community we can come together, you know, and help people, you know, suffering from this disease as well as, you know, create awareness so we can put an end to it. Um, 
I recently did a video, I did an interview uh, with someone, which I'm going to post right after this. Um, and the interview was talking to a patient real time. And, you know, I thought it went amazing uh, because he was able to tell his own perspective of it, a perspective of it, excuse me. And you will see that a lot of people are, you know, suffering from the same thing, the same situation. So I just want to be able to make people feel like it's okay, you know, to live your truth. It's okay to go through those things. Just don't let it break you, you know. Um, cry about it, scream about it, yell about it, move on and keep going. You know, there's nothing that, you know, you set your heart to that you can't do with God on your side. You know, so always try to go out and do your best and never let this disease break you. Um, so I want to use this, you know, YouTube channel to create an awareness. Um, the amount of people with the trait um, are drastic. So, and, and they come from people with different backgrounds. So a lot of people don't know about the disease, so they don't get tested. So now they get married to someone that also has the trait, and now they have a baby with the disease. You know, we could always use an excuse back in the days that we really didn't know too much about it. But now that we know so much about it, we really need to come together and, you know, do the best that we can. Um, the amount with the, uh, the amount of people with a trait um, is a lot and they come from different backgrounds and races and people need to get tested and have their partners tested. Um, you know, the, the disease currently right now is still difficult for patients to maneuver through because it's still not really understood in the community. Um, you know, I want to use this as an outlet for people living with the disease to come out so people can understand that this is real. You know, this, there are some struggles that you go through with sickle cell. Even people think that it's a minimal disease or, you know, it's not really a big deal. Just push it to the side. You'll be all right. But you really do go through, you know, a lot of complications and struggles. You know, you really do struggle to go through life, um, you know, maneuvering through with living with this lifelong disease. So, you know, I also, you know, want to discuss how the disease affects physical, psychological, and social well-being of people. So I want to make, with my story, I want to make people comfortable enough that they can also come out here, you know, and tell their story and live their truth and, you know, do, you know, do what's best for what's on their mind, say it out and, you know, and you might help someone else in the process, you know, you never know. So, you know, just want to make sure that, you know, you guys know that you're not the only one out there suffering through this disease. And, you know, I'm not just going to make it just about sickle cell. You know, there's a lot of people living with, you know, diseases. And nowadays we make it about appearance and everything else that's going on. And, you know, there are really people that are just grateful to be here and that are suffering from, you know, something terrible that you never know what somebody else is. So that's why I say always be grateful for the little stuff that, you know, you have. Always be grateful for, you know, what God is putting you through because he only puts his, you know, strongest soldier through. And everybody has a situation that they're going through. You know, everybody's going through something. Everybody has some kind of disease or health problem or whatever the case is. So I want to use this as an outlet, you know, to kind of discuss that, to, you know, give people the opportunity to just be yourself. You know, you don't have to come up here and, you know, talk about anything else, you know, I'm going to use this outlet to just speak my truth. I'm going to use it to discuss situations that I go through in this world, you know, to show other people that it's okay, you know, to go through things, you know, be sickle, but don't be broken, you know, so that is why I have, you know, I've worked so hard on this for a long time, sickle, but not broken. I finally have my shirts and I'll, um, give you the email address that you can email if you want a shirt um it says sickle but not broken and it says unbreakable on the back of it and if i can i'll also post a picture um of it so you guys can see um and then right after this i'm gonna post the interview that i did with a young man it was crazy because i actually um have been dehydrated so i've been in the sickle cell day hospital and um, I was getting treatment and, you know, I've been talking to the nurses about this for a really, really long time, as well as the nonprofit organization Full of Hopes. So um, in the process of that, I had, um, you know, 
So I have one of the nurses come up to me and um, she said that there's a guy here um, and he wants to talk to you. Um, you know, he heard about your YouTube channel that you're trying to do and he wants to talk to you. And I said, oh, that's great. You know, excuse me. I didn't care how I was looking. I didn't, you know, he didn't care how he was looking. He just wanted to come out and speak his truth and, you know, help, you know, young children that are coming up now. So I'm going to post the video, uh, which was really great. And I'm also going to post some information um, about the uh, nonprofit organization, Full of Hopes. Um, it's basically a nonprofit organization that's trying to provide support and services to uh, patient post-medical treatment. Um, where um, HOPE stands for Help Others Prosper, uh, endure succeed i have to get more information which i'll post in the bottom for you i'm sorry i didn't write that um but you know they're trying to provide services such as transportation you know um assistance with shopping after hospitalization or you know visits to the clinic or the hospital um they're trying to provide other services that people really don't think patient need but we really do and you know i hope that you guys can go on their website you know become a member uh, volunteer donate and help the organization really grow she worked so hard in her last days to help other patients um, and i'm going to talk a lot about that because she's done great work in the sickle cell community um so i'm going to post the website i hope you check it out um and i hope you you know I hope you become a member or you contribute to into it in some ways and also sickle cell patients you can go on there and become members and you know you can go on there and sign up as a patient um you know just go on there and check it out um and also i'm going to post the link um sorry i'm going to post the email that you can send me if you want a shirt and i'm going to try to post the picture for the shirt so that you can take a look at it um and also we have the um sickle cell um conference coming up it's going to be at duke hospital i'm going to post some information about it it's coming up i believe the first or second week in september but i'm going to post some information about that and also there's a study going on that um they're just getting information on sickle cell patients and people that have uh, the sickle cell trait and basically you know it's not asking you to do anything they're just trying to put you in the database so that they can research more about your life and you know growing up with sickle cell i'm going to post some information below also about that you know so anything that comes up that can benefit you i'm going to continue to post information about it i'll talk a little bit about it um so i'm going to end my segment today by saying that i hope you guys would like subscribe and continue this going you know i just want to use this as an outlet to create awareness for sickle cell you know something that hasn't been done i'm not up here to you know talk about anything i'm just up here to talk about my life you know just having god on my side and being grateful for everything that he's done so and i'm hoping that other people would join me and do the same thing and come up here and talk to me you know about things that they go through and how they you know overcome obstacles in their life while living with this lifelong disease so i hope you guys will like subscribe share you know let everybody else know um and i will post you know i'll try to post as much videos as i can um, I really want to do a segment soon about, you know, working white living with sickle cell disease. Um, currently right now, <laughs> excuse me, I'm on a leave. I've got a lot of medical issues going on. So this is how I'm able to just sit here at home and just, you know, talk about my truth. You know, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. But health wise, I haven't been able to come up here and do the video, which I'm, I might post some of the stuff that I've gone through as far as with my health, because I've been, you know, just recording myself as I go through my little struggles with sickle cell and I've had my brother do the same thing. So I might just, you know, post, you know, y'all got to ignore the look and the puffiness and everything else. But like I said, I'm just trying to come up here, you know, to show you guys that it's okay to be, you know, normal. It's okay to go through things. It's okay to have struggles in life as long as you don't let it break you and you overcome it. So I hope you guys will like, subscribe and share. So I'll see you guys soon and, you know, we'll talk later.